Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Yo, thanks for having me. Uh-huh. Um, so how I entered the house, um, I auditioned like everybody else. The show started, I didn't get called, and I just forgot about it. One month later, they called me, and immediately they called me, I moved. So I didn't know anything. I didn't, I wasn't anywhere, anywhere at all. I was living my life until they called, and I just went and showed up. Definitely, I mean, uh, I was, you know, born and raised in, in the U.S., but I moved to Nigeria well before the uh, audition. You know, it was actually one of my... And I was trying to think about what I could do to stand out, what I could do to get as far as possible, but nothing came to my mind. But when I got into the house, they changed the game. Like, the, this season was full of plot twists, so they didn't have the regular nomination process. They changed into the teams, and that's when I actually found a strategy. Because I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me excel at the nomination challenges. It wasn't our nomination anymore. It was non nomination challenges. Let me just excel at the nomination challenges. Let me excel at the tasks. Let me excel in the arena games. Let me just basically show what I was made of. Period. That was the only strategy I had at the time. I, I, I didn't even realize what it was a strategy until later on in the, in, in the game. I'm like, okay, this was what I was doing to stand out. Let me keep doing it. And that's what I did. But going into the house, going, I could... I, Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Okay, um, the whole Lido situation to INAK. What had happened was um, we already played a game, I think three times or two times prior to what was shown. And um, I won the whole, the whole round. We play, I played uh, with Enki and Venita, so I won. But that last one, I had won. I had to wait for Enki and Venita to play it out. So apparently, I showed Venita what to, what to play or something. I don't, even, I can't even remember. But Venita won, and then NK lost the game. So I wanted to go take a shower. I stepped out, and I she was she started playing. I thought she was going to be lonely. I came back. I was like, Can we play? Let us play. And then she said, No, Cindy, I don't want to play with you. So at the moment, of course, people have misunderstandings. That was really annoying. Um, I really felt some type of way, but it wasn't like a beef. We didn't, it didn't even last till the next day. It was over and done with that day. So it wasn't, I came out and I was really surprised how serious. I don't know if some things were said behind my back or if other things aggravated to that. I really don't know. But personally, there was, there is no beef between I and NK. It was not that deep. It's just a, a Ludo game. And uh, we cleared it. The next day, we're already chilling, talking. Personally, you know, I don't stay uh, in the same room with Tasha. And, but Tasha was really nice to me. Yes, I know she has her this thing, but she was nice to me at some point. OK, um, about the fight between Messi and Tasha. Um, you know, it's not everything they will show. But um, when I came out, I saw the clip, and then I understood why people were mad. It actually just started from when I said, Tasha, Messi said this. But what had happened was, um, you know, we were in the, at the lounge waiting to read, and then we had to wait for Mercy. And she, um, Tasha was already getting antsy, like, saying stuff. Mercy could hear her. Mercy was replying. They were already going at each other. They could hear each other. So everybody knows I love to catch crews. And it wasn't supposed, it was supposed to be funny. It was supposed to be funny, like, hey, people should calm down. No, uh, Tasha, this, uh, Messi said, Messi, this is what Tasha said. Tasha, this is what the Messi said. And then even when I heard the Messi, Tasha was like, she knows now because they were already going at it. But apparently, Messi was not wearing her mic, so the world couldn't hear that they were already going back and forth. So it was something that was still going to happen. So when I entered the house and met Diane. Of course, I mean, I wasn't going to like her automatically because I didn't even know her. So, because of the fact that we were working at the, on, the same, on the same task, that's how we started getting to know each other. And it was very natural. It wasn't a strategy. I just, at a point, I just decided to let go and just let things happen the way they were supposed to happen because for me, being in the house self was divine intervention the way I saw it. So I just surrendered myself to whatever higher power was there to guide me through the journey and, and I did what I did. So everything I did in the house was completely genuine and we gravitated towards each other and we liked each other and that was basically what it was. So 
we talked about it obviously <clears throat> we had a conversation about it at some point and because we're in the big brother house now you know everybody doesn't know what strategy everybody's using nobody tr trusts anybody in the house so we said to okay let's we'll be friends Af after the house we, when we see who's real we would, would have that conversation and that was what we did i feel like you know i had a distinct personality and i stood out from the rest but at the same time, I really didn't stand up too many times. And the last time I stood up, I came home. So I wouldn't say the relationship kept me in the house. I think it was more of just trying to, you know, like Ella said, uh, excel in the, in the <clears throat> nomination challenges and not being nominated. That was my main uh, reason for being in the house so long. My fan base should expect content, content, and more content. I'm, I hope to be entertaining you guys. I'm open to anything, entertainment-wise, acting, modeling, you name it. I'm open to all of that, and I cannot wait. And also check out, I got content. Um, now that I'm out, I'm going to be back to modeling. Definitely try and get into acting. You know, the house has even inspired me to pursue some, you know, creative, like, arts. But I'm going to be trying to sell the brand, you know, trying to, you know, get some deals going. My experience um, in the Big Brother house has been amazing, life-changing, ridiculous, <laughs> and cruisy. <laughs> but I enjoyed the experience, and I've learned a lot. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.